own home early yesterday by agents from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. Tonight, his, he says his brother is brain dead in a Little Rock hospital and he cannot understand why. The easiest way to take care of this situation, most common way, is you wait till he's in his car, you pull him over and arrest him. Or you wait till he comes to work and you arrest him there. Matt Malinowski says ATF has not yet told his family why they were serving a search warrant at his brother's Chennault Valley home early Tuesday morning. But he says they did it with extreme and unnecessary force. We do know they broke down the door and he responded with his, with his weapon. Anybody would if you were to be broken into. Now, did they say ATF or anything of that nature? We don't know yet. We don't know if they announced or did announce or whatever it may be, but I do know that uh, uh, there was a gunfight and uh, he suffered the majority of it. And, uh, you know, he's, he's well loved and now he's brain dead. He says Brian, who had been the airport's top executive since 2019, was shot in the head with a high caliber rifle. He says his brother collected guns, just as he collected coins and rare artifacts. He argues nothing less than a weapon of mass destruction inside his home should have triggered a raid. I mean, as these guys in the ATF do their job, you do a flashbang, you throw in a smoke grenade, you throw in a, 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 a tear gas, something to disable the person to get their attention to come on and out, push them out, put them out. You know, there, there's no no reason to go rushing in, guns blazing like you're, you're playing a video game. One final element of this nightmare for the Malinowski family. They are interested in donating Brian's organs, but they can't do so until ATF releases his body. And they say ATF is not responding. The family is now searching for an attorney. You can read much more about all this right now on KATV.com.